Hi everyone, so today I'm going to do a solar update and um, this isn't really like any other solar update because as you can see it's completely different. Um, so to start with I'll just explain basically what this thing is. Um, so I've got a solar power system and with solar you don't really want it on all the time. I mean the thing works by charging batteries up and then from the batteries you connect an inverter and the inverter basically changes the DC power into AC power and therefore you can use it for whatever you want to use it for, which is perfect. But you don't want the stuff on all the time. You don't want the inverter on all the time because if you were to use it at night time, um, you'd be draining the batteries. And really, the batteries aren't supposed to be left drained, or particularly not my ones anyway. They're supposed to be charged up and kept charged. So you use the batteries uh, as a buffer. Anyway, so what it means is some, well, some quite complicated stuff needs to happen to make sure that it turns on and off at the right times. Um, so as to prolong the life of the batteries. So then I have different ideas about uh, automating this and um, and then it got me thinking about other stuff like uh, polling data and sending it to my server and um, stuff like that so that I could analyze things, make graphs and all that sort of stuff so I could learn more about solar. Anyway, so this does that. It um, controls relays which you can see down here. Uh, there's a relay here and, uh, and two transistors there. The transistors uh, control the contactors. There's a contactor for mains and a contactor for solar, and that goes out through through an output. So whatever the output of solar is is either solar or mains, depending. This here is for the inverter. It's a relay because it's a high side uh, switch, and the inverter switched with 24 volts for some reason. Where usually with some devices you'd expect the switch to be zero volts, you know, low side switch, but for whatever reason it's not on this. Um, then what else do we have? We have this here which communicates with the charge controller. The Pro Mini communicates with the charge controller and the ESP32. So this is kind of a uh, communication device between the two. This is for my current shunt and the current shunt tells me how much current has been drawn from the batteries. And then here we have the ESP32 itself uh, which does all the decision making, all of the logging and all that sort of stuff. Um, well it actually sends it to my server but it does the connection and this is actually the brain of the whole system really and there's its antenna um, and there's a light sensor which is on these weird things here these weird little connector things because of course this is going outside um, I suppose I should have used those really but whatever I didn't do it anyway so new things um, there's been a lot of software changes this has actually been redesigned this board here has been redesigned slightly and glued together and I have this LCD which you've not seen before and this keypad which you've not seen before if I just go through you can see we have solar charge, drain, battery, light oh incidentally if I go back to light cover the sensor you can see that it actually works AI, now if I want to turn AI off I can, I can do that, no, just like that uh, switch the contactors, if I want to do that I can and you can see that the LED changes, if I go to none you can see this LED changes here, we've got these LEDs to indicate Wi-Fi, server connected, AI connected, inverter connect, um, you know, on, stuff like that uh, inverter, I can switch that on <coughs> then connections is the router connected? yes, is the server connected? yes in fact, it's a bit strange. How can the server be connected? I don't know. I'll have to look into that. And then we've got the date and time. What the ESP thinks is the date and time, which isn't always accurate. And then its IP address, uh, which is its local IP address to the router. And then that's it. So I wanted to show you that. Um, now, I can't remember if I just mentioned it, but this has also got a TCP server inside it now. It never used to do that. It used to be TCP client. And that's a TCP server as well as a client. And what it means is I can connect to it. I got rid of the uh, RYLR module, uh, the remote control I made. I got rid of that completely. And I'm going to use software. So I'm thinking of making an app for my phone and an app for the laptop. I've already made an app for the laptop. And I've also already got a server app as well um, to store data uh, to SQL Server. And I've also got a website as well, but I need to revisit that. Anyway, um, so that's that. That's the solar um, power system. It needs to be it needs a case or something like that now, and you know a few little things, just testing and stuff. 
But what I want to do now is show you the software that I've written for it, and I can show you it working. Alright, so this is the software that I've written, and um, <coughs> this can connect to it and get data. Now, hopefully, it's going to work. Let's see. Connect. There we go. So, is it connected? Is the router connected? Is the server connected? The time, date, on time, etc. And here's the data log going in every second. Now, if this was connected um, to the router, oh, sorry, not to the router, connected to the charge controller, this would be showing data now. And these graphs would be showing data too. Um, now, using this, I can send it commands like this. I can say, um, turn AI off. Oh, sorry, turn it on, because it's already off. It gives me a message back there saying failed, but I'll send it on. Okay, so AI is on, it's decided that it needs to be on mains. Inverter on, no, so let's just turn it back off again. And let's put it on solar. Let's turn the inverter on. Now I can do the, I can use these things as well, like reset the clock, reset the controller, request the date, uh, request the solar on and off times. So let's do um, request shutdown. Shut down, okay? So everything's off now. Off, non, off. Um, and it's just stuff like that. So there are still some little um, glitches that I need to sort out. Like, for example, if I, if I disconnect this now, let's try and connect again. I think it might not work. Oh, it does work, okay. But uh, anyway, there are some little glitches and stuff that I need to sort out. But um, this is my desktop app, anyway, in order to um, to get the data without needing a, a radio-controlled device. So if I'm working on my computer or my laptop, I can just open this app and um, look at the statistics. And uh, I'm hoping it'll be very useful. Anyway, so that's what I'm up to at the moment, anyway. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Bye.